Hello, good evening everyone. Um, tonight, this evening, I'd like to show you. I was thinking of the way, oh no, I was, I was at work today. I was thinking that I should record another video just to prove to you, kind of, and show you that from this lab that you can see on screen now, you can build almost any lab um, topology that you can find on the internet, depending, of course, on the amount of your devices. I've recorded already a um, um, few videos on um, how to build, first of all, this lab, you can see on the screen, and how to kind of convert this lab into into another one, into a different one, into the one that you find, let's say you found something on the internet, instead of building it from the scratch in GNS3, you can use this one and just save the config files separately for this lab, so you've got, so the idea is on um, having this one lab on your PC machine and use that lab for everything. So uh, hang on, let me just um, get this screen recorder so I know how much time do we have left. Um, so what I'm going to show you today is, first of all, to build this lab that you can see on screen, go to Google, type in CCIE GNS3 topology, it's already there. Click on the first second link from the top that's going to take you to um, Tom Jubicki's blog which where I've explained how to build this lab with I've also included um, INE configs and IP expert configs for it um, so you can literally build this lab paste those configs in and practice start practicing start um, going through the through the videos and all the scenarios that those guys have prepared for you okay so what I'm going to show you today is how to build um, from this lab as well, another one, a different one. I've recorded a video already on how to... Let's see. Mm, okay, okay. No. How to build a GNS3 lab. There's something wrong with my keyboard actually. It's not done, but you see, I've got, you've got 12 videos, I believe, 12 videos on how to build this lab. I've included in the videos. I found it some 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 somebody else's blog basically, and I I used the one that you can see on screen now to build that. So you can watch those videos, and also I'm going to show you today how to build just some random one. Let's go for for example MPLS INE. This is a great. This um, as you can see this this lab of um, INE. Um, course with Keith Barker, I'm not sure if you've got this course, but this lab also I've included in my blog which is there, CCIP MPLS topology, as you can see it's exactly the same as that, okay, so you can go onto my blog and read this, and what we're going to do today, I'm going to what was this video? I think it's this one, MPLS layer through VPN verification troubleshooting. There's another course of ID for MPLS with Brian McGann, which I think is amazing. Okay, so... So what we're going to do, we're going to build this lab from that again. Okay? Not sure how to actually, because I don't... So I've already powered on all the devices. There's no config on these devices whatsoever, apart from I've, I've named these devices. Um, so as you can see, there's nothing in there. Interfaces are shut down. There's only a host name which exists, and no protocols, no real protocols, no literally nothing. And every single device looks the same. Frame switch. Okay, let's see the frame switch, no config, no, nothing apart from the host name, no, see, the, fa the interfaces are shut down, which means basically it's blank, it's completely blank, that's the whole idea. Okay, so let's see, if we were to build this lab there, I'm going to build it now with you guys, and I'm going to show you how to build it, and then I'm going to include that in my blog, um, all the configs, so... Next time, all you have to do is to build that topology, the GNS topology, and we, you're going to be able to go onto my blog and paste the configs. So when you start watching the video, so all you have to do is to power this up, power this topology up, paste the configs, and it's ready to go. And it's ready. You, you can you can start watching and practicing. So what we're going to do? We're going to build this today. 
which I think is going to be really exciting. Um, let's see, first of all, let's see how many devices do we have. Switch 1, Switch 2, Switch 3, Switch 4, which is fine. BB1, BB2, BB3, perfect. How many rulers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, which is fine. That means, actually, we can power down we're gonna need some frame relay switch, some switches. We're gonna need switches, six rotors, four switches, six rotors, three backbones, and so we can power down actually. Um, switch number seven, eight, nine, because yeah, they only have six switches on using in this course. So switch seven, let's close this. Switch seven, switch eight, and switch nine. Sorry, root 7, root 8, root 9, and power down those devices because we're not gonna need them as you can see. Okay, let's see. Stop that. 9, 7, 8, 6, 3, 4. Cool! Okay, that's what we need. Let's go back to the screen, not this one, there, okay, so now we're gonna convert that lab into something like this. So the idea is, the idea is um, for you, whenever you um, have a new lab, have a new topology, see a new topology or, or on the internet, you don't build it from scratch in GNS3, you literally use this one and just convert it. If you know what I mean, so and then save the config. So next time, all you have to do is to power it up, paste the config in, that's it, it's done. And also, that teaches you a very important skill because we're actually going to configure from scratch this network there, which means that when you sit on the, let's say, CCIE lab or the, or, the, or, um, or your boss asks you to, um, to do some um, configuration on, some, on, on some devices on your network or somebody else's network, that's going to teach you a very important skill how to, how to configure something from scratch, how to you know, configure and test it. Which, be, which is crucial, as you know, um, <coughs> um, in terms of um, uh, preparation for the CCIE lab itself. Uh, the whole configuration part, I think it's six hours, and then you have two hours for troubleshooting. It's actually vice versa. It's, 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 you, when, when you start a lab, you, you, have, um, you have to um, uh, you go through the, the troubleshooting section, which is two hours, and then you have six hours for the configuration. Okay, so let's start. I think we can start right now, do, do you think? That should be okay. Um, okay. Cool. Let's do it. <laughs> 